there, there. This is Linda from Linda Loves Creating. And in this video, I'm going to share with you a total revamp of my loose embellishment organization. So first, what are loose embellishments? Die cut pieces, felt pieces, chipboard, fabric pieces, pleather and rubber, frames, story cards, vellum, word strips, cork, wood veneer, badges, plastic pieces, words, and washi tape. In this video, I'm organizing all of those except for chipboard and washi tape. Okay, so those are just some examples, but as you can see here, I have a ton of loose embellishments already sitting in some form of organization. I have two existing organization systems. One are these clear trays that go in Stampin' Storage drawer organizers. This I absolutely love. I absolutely love this system, but I set up these organization things. I organized these products in here years ago. Since then, I've acquired a lot more. I need to work, rework my organization system because my drawers are filling up and it just needs to be sorted through. So that is going to be one part I'm sharing with you. The second piece are these larger containers. And these go in an Alex drawer system from Ikea. These trays themselves were from Ikea. I don't know what they are called and I, because I have not been able to find them on the Ikea website. I picked them up years ago and I do like them. However, they have a lot of flaws. One, some of these containers are just too small for what I'm looking for and some are too large and it's just kind of becoming overflow. So what I did is I'm going to get rid of these and I'm going to replace them with a new system. So instead of those large trays, I'm going to use these small modular organizers from iDesign. These are all available on Amazon and I'm going to link below all of the pieces that I use. So these trays come in a variety of sizes. I have picked up a number of different shapes and sizes because what I can do is I can organize these in a modular style in my drawer that is going to work where things are not going to slide around and I can put things in all of the containers that I want um, and I can use the various sizes. I've used these before. I use these for my pen and marker organization which I will link that video up in the corner. And in that video, you could see how these rearrange in the drawer. And I'm going to do something similar for my loose embellishments because I love how these worked so well. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and put you on fast forward. I'm going to rearrange these things on my desk, take all the packaging off and start reorganizing my loose embellishments. Actually, before I get on fast forward, I do want to show you this was my basic plan beforehand um, to try to see what sh um, categories I want and what um, containers I want. I originally planned to do three drawers worth of containers. I decided to only do two drawers worth of containers um, because I don't think I need that many different ones. So these are, I want to do some shape based ones. I want to do some theme based ones. And I will potentially still use those white trays that I showed you for some of the additional ones because I own them. There's no reason to throw them out. Um, and they are still good organizers. I was just outgrowing that system. And I do have more drawers in my Alex drawer system than those two that I was utilizing. So this is kind of my basic idea. I'm going to start by relocating some of the items from those to these and get an idea of kind of what size container goes with which. And I know that this is kind of going to be a little confusing here, but you will see ultimately once everything's organized, how it's all going to work out.
interject here for a second because as you can see, I decided to use these white organizer trays as well because I wanted to include a lot more categories. So the other categories are more shape-based. These ones are theme-based and you can see that I have some themes there. I had some seasonal ones. I have, you know, um, a technology one. You have a home one, a reading and school one. And then I'm going back to some of these and I'm realizing I had so many more of those words than I thought I had. I swapped out the words and the hearts. So the hearts are in a smaller container and the words are in a larger one. Then I went over to my computer and printed out some labels. You can see that I did something similar to this when I did my chipboard organization. And I will link that video for you up at the eye right now. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm just creating labels for each category and then I'm using a piece of clear tape to adhere it to each organizing section. I find that this helps me stay organized because I don't have to guess what is in each section. Instead, I can just include what, uh, I can look at the label and use that to identify what I need to include in that section. So I put these in the drawer and you can see that I have these ones labeled. We've got arrows, reading, entertainment, domestic, work slash tech, banners, labels, and story cards back there. And then in this drawer, we've got winter. Now this is not Christmas. These are other winter Christmas I have with all my December daily supplies. This is Halloween slash fall. This is summer, travel, uh, this is other, which I don't have anything in there quite yet, but I still have more things to sort. These ones are like current events. I forgot to make a label for it, so I'll make that soon. Back here we have word strips, and then this one I didn't label. This is washi. I still need to go through that. Then moving up, let's see, that one's not. I did these two drawers. So this one, I have the words tags speech bubbles floral and you can see how these fit in the drawer frames rainbows clouds butterflies then this one we've got circles hearts stars squares ands diamonds cameras and just for context this is my chipboard organization which i have another video organizing those and i'll link that up in the corner um, but you can see kind of how this all flows together. Now I'm going to move back to my desk and work on organizing these smaller loose embellishments. These are not done. I think I have other embellishments in my stash that need to be worked into this, but I love the framework I came up with. I feel like this system has room to grow and it has, you know, it has a space for other, which I think is very key because that way everything has a home. And if I see a new theme coming in, I will start, you know, maybe I will have to reassess my categories, but I feel like I have so many categories. I, it's not too many that it's manageable, but I have enough where I'm going to be able to find things. Okay, so the next step are organizing my smaller loose embellishments. So these, I have these trays that go in these drawers from Stampin' Storage. So these wooden drawers fit in a container, which I will link below, and I will show you guys at the beginning of this video, and I will show you guys again later. But these are drawers. It's just hard to show it from the top down. And the drawer itself actually comes out, or you can lift this out. And this one, you can see, kind of spilled because I had it out on my desk to film this video, and my cat played with it. But I, I'm going to reorganize everything anyways. But I don't need to bring the drawers out. I just need to bring these out. So I'm going to bring all of these over here, and I'm going to work on organizing these. Unlike the larger categories, I am not going to label these because my thought with these is that they are going to... No, nope, my cat's back. He, he has a lot of fun with these. He can't play with them when they're in the drawers. So bringing it out is this new exciting thing for him. Anyways... <laughs> I'm not going to label these like the larger categories because these I'm imagining are more temporary. So for example, this right here is a set of 
these um, clips that number one through five. These are really cool, but at some point I will use them on a spread and then that will be that. So it would be silly for me to label a spot for them because once I use them, that's it. So I have organized things in the past. You can see it's kind of a mess now, but sort of by type. So I've had like clips, I had cork. I think I'm going to do by color now, but I'm not sure. So I wanna wait and I wanna get a feel for what I have. I'm gonna bring everything over here, put you guys on fast forward and sort it all out. Okay, before I put you on fast forward, I did have a couple more things to say. So I have all of these trays over here. These are the shallow drawer trays and there are multiple sizes. These are the small, I believe in the medium. And I will link these down below. If those are the wrong ones, I will make sure to fix it in the description box back down below. These trays are very economical. So you can purchase uh, like this one. And then if later you want to swap it out for like this style, it's very simple. The drawer units themselves are an investment, but they are solid. I have had my drawer system for, I want to say like almost 10 years. Like it's been a long time and it looks brand new. Um, I have to um, disclaimer that I am an affiliate for Stampin' Storage who creates these. So if you do purchase through my links, I get a small commission, but it does not cost you anything extra. And I would only recommend products that I absolutely love. I did in fact purchase all of these myself. I do get commissions for sharing my link, but I don't get a discount. And I purchase them anyways, because I love their products. I think that they are super quality. So I have the drawer system and there are different size drawers. You can get small, medium, and large, and you can basically create your drawer system any way you want. So the one that I have has six small drawers. So here's my six small drawer trays. You can't see all of them on the screen because it's just too, too large, but I will swap them through as I start organizing everything. Um, and then I have two medium, which means it's just a deeper drawer. So the medium ones I'm gonna pull over after I do these smaller drawers. And what I'm going to do is just kind of go through here and reorganize these in an order that makes sense for me and how I scrapbook now. Um, one of my goals with this is to have extra pockets or sections that are not full so that I have room to grow. I don't hope to continue acquiring things. I want to use what I have, but I don't want to be in a situation where I have products and nowhere to put them because that's how you get things to be cluttered and messy and then you can't use them. So this is um, my starting point for these. I'm going to go ahead and put you on fast forward and rearrange everything. It's a little bit of like a musical chairs game because I'm not going to take things out and put them on my desk because that is running the risk of everything just getting mushed into this huge pile. But I am going to kind of shuffle things around and get them in an order that makes sense and get rid of these ones that are like mixed, right? I mean, at least as much as makes sense. So I, without anything else to say, I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys on fast forward.
Okay, I'm gonna pop in here and kind of show you where I am. So I decided to sort by theme a lot, or shape. So I did this whole section right here are stars, these are arrows, and these are banners. I left myself a little room for growth, but there's not a ton here in some of these and in others there is. So it is just kind of how it worked out. I might have to rearrange as I, these were kind of all of the items that were already in these trays and a few other ones that I had nearby. But as I start digging through the pile on my desk that you can't see that's off screen here and some of the other things, I might have to rearrange it and I will of course show you that. So then let's move on this tray here. I did circles and hearts. So I had two, one too many hearts for two rows and a couple too many circles for three rows. Ideally, I think I could do four circle rows in three heart rows and you know I still might do that but this is what I have right now with this split row. Okay so then this entire tray was words and now that I'm looking at it these ones actually did not belong here so I do want to relocate these and these ones which i think kind of should just be combined with those so i'm not entirely sure where to put i think i'll put those all together oh but these are all words these are numbers but the rest and these are numbers but the rest are words or numbers and i think that that is a good category for an entire tray there's room to grow, but not so much that I have extra space that's being wasted. So this tray here is my themes. So this one I might need to expand as I um, dig through my stash and find maybe find some other things. But right now I have these three that are houses. This row is travel and these are also travel. There's some that aren't, but some of them are travel themed. So I'm gonna kind of keep them together. These are animals and this is food and then these two are seasonal so this back one is mostly fall here's some winter this is spring and these are summer you will see here some of these i mixed together different types of embellishments and that's because i had one of these i have two of these and realistically when i'm looking for a spring themed embellishment i'm just going to look here and it i can see the different options i don't really need those in different sections. So I think that that is fine for that one. Then this tray, these are the other. So some of these are, you can see mixed, like these are all symbols. Um, some of them are like a specific item, like these are brads. Um, these are, this is mixed in that they're all rubber embellishments. So I could potentially switch these up a little bit, but this is a system I have for now. I think that this is what I'm gonna stick with and you, I'll show you at the end of the video when I'm done. But I am going to now go dig through other places in my craft room and see what else I have that should be in these trays. But first I'm going to, I'm gonna finish showing you, this, you where I am now. So these right here are the, these is the smaller tray. Because these are smaller, um, some things it's a ways to put them in the large trays and some things won't fit in the small tray. So this tray specifically is um, a variety of embellishments, but I organize them vertical rows. So I have, these are all clips. These all are hearts. These ones are stars. These are plus signs on this half. This half is butterflies. This half is um, raindrops. And then here is other. And then this last bucket here is a total mix of random things where I just have like one of those things. So that is kind of where I am with these. The next step is to do the deeper trays, which I'm going to do those. And then I'm going to go through the rest of my craft room and pull some other things and try to put them in here so that I don't have, I have a bunch of like random stuff that are in piles and just pushed in random places. 
And part of the goal of this organization system is to have everything have its own place, right? Oh, I see that these are like a word, but I think it's like I do have some words in here. So I think that that's fine. Um, leaving that like this. Um, yeah, so that's where I am now. I'm going to go over and get those larger trays and go from there. Okay, I'm back with my deeper trays. So these are things that you can see these are much deeper. So these are embellishments that would otherwise be in those trays I just showed you, but they are larger and they don't fit. Some of these you can see are kind of disorganized. Some of them I think could be better placed elsewhere in my stash. You guys saw that I did just organize those larger trays that are down below in my drawers. Um, and I think that some of these things could fit there better. So I might go ahead and put some things like these circles, for example. I think these might be better suited to be placed in that the circle tray in there and this one in the words. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first and then I'm gonna see what I'm left with. Okay, so here's tentatively how I'm doing this. So this front row here are like technical, um, like basics, right? So these are where, this is where I keep my extra Tim Holtz staples for my tiny attacher. This is, I don't even know what this is. I think it's like to keep extra like pencil lead or something in it, but there's nothing in there at the moment. I'm just gonna leave it there though. These are Avery index tabs and the inserts. These are metal rim tags. Here I have binder rings and rubber bands. Some of the little mini binder or albums come with the rubber band. So I have some extras. I just have this one. They're like nice, pretty rubber bands um, that are good to put around a mini book and keep it closed. So it's like an extra fastener. So that's what this first row is. There's nothing in this one. It's an extra spot. Here are all alphabets, numbers, and then these are small word phrase. Um, tiles, word tile, refrigerator, refrigerator tile. So, and then this is extra other things. So um, that's kind of where I am now. I have a few other random embellishments in like some other drawers and stuff that I'm going to try to mix in here and see what I can get to fit. So like I pulled these out of a drawer. I have, so here's like, this is Wednesday. So these are days of the week. So those should go together. But then I have like change the story. So I need to go through, let's see, this is what I have here. Currently, here's Thursday. This love hard. And these are clearly from a couple of different sets. And I'm not sure why they ended up in this separate organizer than in here. So I do want everything to kind of be in the same spot. It looks like these are gonna to be too large to fit in here. So I think that I could put them in here or I could put them with the large words, but I kind of wanna put them in here because those large words, I feel like these are prone to break and I don't want them to break. I also have this one here with these like rubber banners, but I do have a section for banners um, trying to think because like these look like they're too big to fit, fit in here which these almost are as well so I do have a section for banners down below so I think I'm going to go ahead and put these in there and then I'm going to go see what else I have okay I think that these are done with how I'm going to keep this system for now so going back through them here I have my seasonal I have food I have animals, and then I have travel has two rows. So I have some room to grow. Okay, so next I have this one. This is circles. 
and one row here for houses. I ended up rearranging from what I did last time because the circles really needed more space. I found these two other pieces and I feel like I need room to grow for circles. So that is that one. Next, I have hearts and other. So what I ended up doing was combining the other with my hearts. Now I feel like there's not as much room to grow in this other as I would like. I'm actually gonna move this one over here, which will help. Um, but you know, there is a little room to grow and from working through these, I see that I really need to use more supplies, right? I'm not using enough for my stash because I shouldn't have this much and I do. Next, I have this tray. This is stars for these four rows. Here we have arrows and we have banners. This one is all words. And then here's the small ones. These are, like I said before, we've got clips, hearts, butterflies, rain, stars, plus signs, and then other for all of these. And then my two deep ones here, I'm actually gonna put this in here. So this one, I've got just a collection of other things that are too large to go in the smaller sections and too small or too specific to go in my larger drawer organization that's in the Alex drawers. And then finally, I have this one. I have some alphas, I have some refrigerator tiles, and then I have my basics. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how everything turned out, but first I need to show you a few other things. This is an organizational video, right? So I feel like I should have everything perfectly organized. Well, I don't. I want to be real with you guys. So I do have some of these extra trays. Before I got the drawer system from Stampin' Storage, I was using these trays. And these trays, I picked them up like one at a time, some of them are great, some of them are not so good. I know a lot of people use these. I don't like them compared to the Stampin' Storage because the Stampin' Storage drawers fit perfectly in my shelf and have a spot. These, if you want something from the bottom, you gotta move the whole stack and they're just not as easy to see. However, you can see these are still kind of full. Um, there are some very old embellishments in here. There are a bunch of brads in here. There's some sequins. I do like the sequins in this because this is a sealed container. And if I drop this, sequins aren't going everywhere. So I am going to keep these in here and I have a spot in a drawer where I can keep that. The rest of these, however, my goal is to get have nothing in these. And you can see there are some of the shapes that I should move over into my other system and I might um, but because I do want some room to grow, but I want to be able to start using these things, right? That is my goal. So I am going to keep in mind that I do have these. They are stored in my craft closet and I need to work through minimizing my stash. I'm not doing that today. This is my dirty little secret, but I am going to share it with you guys because I don't want to be disingenuous in this video. I do also have two other things. I have two of these large trays. These are from the container store and I love them. These are how I organize my closet. I have not shared a closet organization video on here yet. I will at some point. Um, these are also loose embellishments. This one right here are all my ribbons. These are large tags. Like I know that I have a tag section in my drawer below, but I do also have this large tag section here. These are words that are um, months and I kept those separate because that's very specific and as you will see pretty soon when I do a video of my drawers, my words are overflowing and I need to get to using them. This one right here are random embellishments that are super large. So a lot of these are going to be like statement pieces on a page and I'm going to leave them here and hope that I can try to make an effort to come and dig through here and pick something to create a page out of. So these are all going to live in my craft closet. The rest of this stuff is out by my desk and I am going to give you a quick tour of how it turned out and that will be the end of this video. Thanks. 
Okay, so here is the final of how this turned out. This is my top. So actually in my Alex organizer, my top drawer here is my chipboard. This drawer is circles, hearts, stars, squares, cameras, diamonds, arrows. There is nothing in the back of the drawer there, but that's because these drawers only come out to here, so I really want everything to be easily accessible. Next, I have my word embellishments, which you can see this is overflowing, and this is making me want to craft right now and use these, which is the goal of organizing my supplies, right, is so that I can use them. You can see when I open the drawer, these things shift a little. I'm not too concerned with it because they do mostly stay in place. Um, but that's just because there's nothing in the back there. If you did something like this and that was bothering you, you could put wedge something in the back to prevent them from shifting. And I did, in fact, do that in my chipboard organization up above. So this is tags, speech bubbles, floral. Here's frames. And then I have rainbows, clouds, butterflies. This drawer does not have organization in it yet. That is an empty drawer waiting for something else. I could see in the future buying more of these types of organizers and filling that drawer because then I'd have room to grow. But at this point in time, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so here I have the um, word phrase strips. Winter, fall slash Halloween, summer, other, travel, current events, and colorful washi. I didn't go through this, but I feel like I have a pretty limited washi supply here, so I don't think I really need to, but I am just going to kind of leave that as it is. In the future, I might tackle it, but right now I kind of like how it is. Then down here, I have banners. Um, what are those called? Labels, work slash tech, domestic. So this is like home or cleaning, um, that type of stuff. Entertainment, which I honestly don't have that much of. Reading, and I also included like school type stuff in there. And then this is arrows. And back there are story cards and pads like that, you can see. So that is it that's in these drawers underneath my desk. So you can see it's very accessible. Okay, now we're moving over here to my Calyx that's on my desk. And this is the stamp and storage organizer that I have the majority of these supplies in. And these are the drawers you just saw me organize. So here's the circles and houses. Here are hearts and other. Stars, arrows, and banners. Basics, word strips, and alphas slash numbers. Oh. These are all words or numbers. These are the themes. So those back two rows are seasonal. Then we've got food, animals, and then this is all the travel. These are the smaller ones. I'm not going to go through these categories again because I already showed you that. And then the bottom drawer here, um, these are the larger categories. So that is it with my loose embellishment organization. As you saw before, I don't have a ton of room to grow. And I do have those things that are lingering in my closet that do still need to be sorted and purged. Um, at this point in time, I don't want to tackle that. I think I want to dig into these supplies and create a bit more, but I'm so happy to have these finally organized and I can't wait to create. I hope that this video gave you a lot of tips for how to organize your loose embellishments. And if you have any questions, as always, please leave them down below. Thank you so much for being here.